Gemini CLI versus Cursor. If you're trying to pick between these two AI coding tools in 2025, I've actually spent hands-on time with both, and I've got some real thoughts from using them day-to-day -day as a developer. Honestly, they're two very different vibes, even though they're both aimed at boosting productivity with AI. Let me start with Cursor. This one feels like it was built from the ground up to live inside your IDE. It's basically a fully AI-enhanced code editor that behaves more like a teammate than a tool. It's got natural language editing baked right in, which means I can literally type make this async and add error handling, and it rewrites the block for me. I've used it primarily inside VS Code, and the integration is buttery smooth. What really makes Cursor click is its understanding of context. It remembers your project structure, coding style, even your recent edits, and builds suggestions around that. It almost feels like it's anticipating what you'll need next. It's smart without being pushy, and it integrates well with a ton of other tools. Claude Sana 3.5, GPT-4, DeepGram, and more. I've used it with project-specific agents too, which lets me fine-tune what the AI focuses on, especially during longer refactoring or debugging sessions. The price is about $20 a month, which I think is reasonable for the kind of lift it provides. Now, Gemini CLI is a completely different experience, but just as powerful. This one's built for the terminal, which makes it ideal if you live in the command line like I do when scripting or working with backend stuff. First of all, it's open source under Apache 2.0, so you're not locked into anything, and I could immediately see how it could be customized or embedded in my own dev tools. What blew me away is that it uses Gemini 2.5 Pro out of the box with a massive 1M token context window. That's wild compared to what most LLMs support right now. I threw in entire projects, multiple YAML configs, and logs, and it handled it like a champ. But here's the part that sealed it for me. The model context protocol MCP support. I spun up a local MCP server and fed it live documentation, runtime logs, and API references from my microservices stack, and suddenly Gemini wasn't just guessing or generating code from scratch. It knew what I was building, how my endpoints were structured, even which functions were outdated. It made problem solving and code generation feel relevant, not generic. And with the CLI's integration of Google Search, it's like having a smart assistant that can Google things for you, fetch results, and actually understand how they relate to your code. It's also totally free to use with a 1,000 request slash day cap and 60 per minute, which I've never hit even during heavy coding days. That said, Gemini CLI doesn't feel like a polished IDE. It's fast, scriptable, and super powerful, but it's still a CLI tool, so you're not getting the visual UX of something like Cursor. That's not a downside if you're comfortable in the terminal, though. I've wired it into Git hooks, CI scripts, even test scaffolding tools, and it's rock solid. If I had to summarize it, Cursor is where I go when I want thoughtful, high-quality code edits inside my dev environment, especially when working on complex front-end or full-stack apps. Gemini CLI is where I go when I want speed, scale, and the ability to throw massive context at the AI while staying in control of the environment. They're both amazing, but they serve different moments in my dev flow. I honestly keep both running, Cursor for focused coding and Gemini CLI for AI-enhanced terminal workflows.